Hey everyone, my name's Amber and in today's guitar lesson I'm going to be teaching you how to play Flowers by Miley Cyrus. If this is something that you'd be interested in learning, then stay tuned, let's dive into the lesson. So first off, before we dive into the lesson content today, let me tell you a little bit about what it is we're going to be learning. So I have eight chords in total that I'm going to be showing you today. One of them is a bar chord, but don't panic. If you are a beginner, I have a much easier version that I'm going to be sharing with you today. We're also going to be diving into two strumming patterns and then stick around for the end of the lesson where you can join me for a mini playthrough of the song. So I've zoomed in a little closer to take a look at the chord shapes that we're going to be needing. Please make sure that your guitar is in standard tuning and we will not be needing a capo for the song. So the chords that we're going to need to learn are C major, C major 7, so all we need to do for that is lift up our first finger. We have A minor, D minor, G major, we have C over B, so if we go back to that C major chord, all you're going to do is take away that third finger and we're going to move that second finger up to that fifth string and we strum from the fifth string down. We then go to an E7 chord. And our final chord is the bar chord. It's an F major chord. If you can manage that, then go for it. But for the remainder of this tutorial, I'm going to be using an F major 7 chord shape, which looks like this, which I like to call easy F. As I always say in my guitar tutorials, take a moment now to pause the video and practice changing back and forth between those eight chord shapes. If you can memorize them and know them off by heart, it's going to make learning the song so much easier. So if that's something you'd like to do, then I suggest doing that right now. Once you feel confident and comfortable with those chord changes, then join me in the next section of this lesson where I'm going to be teaching you the strumming patterns. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, we're going to be learning two strumming patterns today. Let's start with the first pattern, which is used in the verse and in the pre-chorus. It consists of eight down strums and it's counted like this. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. If we try that on our C major chord, it will sound like this. One and two and three and four and. We're going to take it one step further and we're going to add an accent on the beats that I've highlighted up on the screen. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. What this does is it drives the song forward and it gives the song just a little bit more of a punchy sound. Now when we implement the strumming pattern into the first verse, we're only going to play that strumming pattern through once on each chord. So I'm going to pull the chords up onto the screen now and give you a demo of how it would sound. So starting on that A minor, one and two and three and four and. We're then going to change to D minor, one and two and three and four and. To G, one and two and three and four and. To our C major, one and two and three and four and. We were good, we were gold. on into the pre-chorus we're going to be using the same strumming pattern and the chords are A minor to D minor to E7. Now the only difference here is that when you play that E7 chord you're going to do one full round of the strumming pattern and then you're going to add an extra down strum. So it's going to sound like this. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. So if we add the singing I didn't want to leave you, I didn't want to lie, started to cry but then remembered I. Next we're going to look at the chorus. 
close and this is where we're going to learn a second strumming pattern. It's a really well-known pattern, it's used in a lot of pop songs. It sounds like this, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to play that strumming pattern once on each chord. So the chord sequence for the chorus starts on that A minor, changing to the D minor, to our G major, and then our last chord is the C major. Let's do a quick playthrough so you can hear how it sounds. Now this is where we can introduce that C over B chord because when we go from the C major chord we can actually use that second chord as a transition chord. So from the C, as you can see there we have split the strumming pattern over two chords. So the C major gets the two down strums and when you transition to the second chord you're going to do an up, up, down. Might be a good idea to practice doing that a few rounds. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So if we try that with the chorus now. I can find myself flowers. Write my name in the sand. It just adds a little bit extra to the song and it sounds more like the original. The last line of the chorus we are going to have an F major 7 chord, which we play through once. And then we're going to transition to an E7 for one down strum. Yeah, I can love me better than you can. And then we're going to go back into the same chord sequence that we've just been practicing. A minor, D minor. So the last thing I'd like to share with you guys today is something from the start of the song. This is where we're going to be using that C major 7 chord. So instead of doing just a normal down strum, we can make it sound more like the song by picking the chord. So we're going to start on the 5th string and pick that. We're then going to go down to the 3rd string, the 2nd string and the 1st string. So it will sound like this. And then you go straight into first one. With all that covered, let's go ahead and put everything together and do a mini playthrough of the song. So grab your guitar and let's go. One, two, three, go. We were good. Cyrus's song Flowers on the Guitar. I really hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did then please give me a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and come and join the Stella Guitarist community. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!